Welcome to the Murad Group. We are going to be doing a static adjustment of the throttle linkage uh, for the 44 DCNF carburetors found on the Maserati Murad. So let's get started. The front carburetor and the rear carburetor are both controlled by the centermost carburetor. Believe it or not, <laughs> the center controlling carburetor adjusting screw has been turned in one and a half full turns. The adjusting screws for the throttle arms of the rear and the front carburetor are always fully retracted. They will never be used. The only adjusting screw is the one that is in the center carburetor and as we then connect the throttle linkage to the center carburetor the goal is that the front and the rear carburetors will be in exact synchronization with the center carburetor and I can as I turn this nut I can see the throttle arm moving forward All right, that looks pretty good. So when we do a dynamic check on the adjustment, all that will be required will be literally just a several degree turn here and there. And the hope is that when we use the synchrometer and we measure the vacuum of all of the front and the rear, they'll match exactly to what we are experiencing with the center carburetor. Again, very important to emphasize that when you close these two up on the rear carburetor and the front, make sure that you're constantly checking that this has not changed because it's very easy to tighten things up on this end. And if you don't check that center carburetor, it might be really, really off. Don't ask me how I know. I just do. So <laughs> check that out. Be sure. Another approach to measuring the distance between the carburetor body and the throttle arm is to use this uh, handy piece of metal. And I went ahead and adjusted it. Make sure that These screws are fully backed out, otherwise you won't get a, an accurate reading. And the front carburetor also. Uh, the thickness of this metal bar is just a little less than a quarter inch, so when this car is started up, uh, the front and the rear carburetors will be pulling a little less air and hopefully the car will idle a little more um, smoothly and last but not least use our feeler gauge here and make sure that this has not changed in any shape has not changed in any way shape or form so we'll uh, look forward to starting it up and seeing how how well it uh, how well it does and how much adjustment will need to be made.